not enough. You ever feel that way? Feel like you have little to no value at all? Feel like all your best efforts only come up short? You keep trying and trying and trying to improve, but you're always feeling like you never measure up, like you're not enough. I mean, the world of marketing has realized that there is a, a deep sense of not enough. And they're capitalizing on this by showing us easy ways that we can be satisfied to fill that hole in our hearts, those desires within us, the need for value, acceptance, the need for significance and to know our worth. Beyond marketing and physical things, we often feel this in our relationships, work and personally. We all feel it within us. We, we live in it and know this tension of, I'm not enough. So what do we do? How do we respond? To be straight and to the point, we receive our value from Him. That's how we deal with the tension in our hearts, a uh, feeling like we're not enough. We go to the scriptures to help us understand our value. Right now, my wife and I are expecting another little one to enter our family this summer, a little girl. And I want her to know that her value comes from the one who created her. That's what's most important. I absolutely love Psalm 139, so many good lines. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works, God, are, are wonderful. And a, a few verses later, the psalmist writes, How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How precious are God's thoughts about you. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. We need to stop looking to others for our value. We need to look only to the one who created us. I want to read you the Father's love letter. The Father's love letter is a compilation of paraphrased Bible verses from both the Old and New Testament that are presented in the form of a love letter from God to you. So I'm going to read this letter and I would encourage you just to you can close your eyes and listen or just, uh, just let, let these words soak over you. This is God speaking to you. My child, you may not know me, but I know everything about you. I know when you sit down and when you rise up. I am familiar with all your ways. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered. You were made in my image. In me you live and move and have your being, for you are my offspring. I knew you even before you were conceived. I chose you when I planned creation. You were not a mistake, for all your days are written in my book. I determined the exact time of your birth and where you would live. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I knit you together in your mother's womb and brought you forth on the day you were born. I have been misrepresented by those who don't know me. I am not distant and angry, but am the complete expression of love. And it is my desire to lavish my love on you simply because you are my child and I am your father. I offer you more than your earthly father ever could, for I am the perfect father. Every good gift that you receive comes from my hand, for I am your provider and I meet all your needs. My plan for your future has always been filled with hope because I love you with an everlasting love. My thoughts toward you are as countless as the sand on the seashore and I rejoice over you with singing. I will never stop doing good to you for you are my treasured possession. I desire to establish you with all my heart and all my soul, and I want to show you great and marvelous things. If you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. Delight in me, and I will give you the desires of your heart, for it is I who give you those desires. I am able to do more for you than you could possibly imagine, for I am your greatest encourager. I am also the Father who comforts you in all your troubles. 
When you are brokenhearted, I am close to you. As a shepherd carries a lamb, I have carried you close to my heart. One day, I will wipe away every tear from your eyes, and I will take away all the pain that you have suffered on this earth. I am your father, and I love you, even as I love my son Jesus. In him, my love for you is revealed. He is the exact rep representation of my being. He came to demonstrate that I am for you, not against you, and to tell you that I am counting, that I am not counting your sins against you. Jesus died so that you and I could be reconciled. His death was the ultimate expression of my love for you. I gave up everything I loved that I might gain your love. If you receive the gift of my son Jesus, you receive me, and nothing will separate you from my love again. Come home, and I'll throw the biggest party heaven has ever seen. I have always been father, and will always be father. My question is, will you be my child? I am waiting for you, love, your dad, almighty God. The God who loves you, the God who created you and knit you together in your mother's womb. He loves you. He values you. Never, never, ever forget that.